Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shilpa Roy Sharma and I am a success manifestation coach. And if you watch my content regularly, then let me show you my energy is to make you a successful manifestor. And today I'm doing the chakra energy assessment of the main character of the movie 12th Fail. Uh, it's amazing flick by Vidubno Chopra. We found it on OTT and it has real authentic characters of the IPS Manoj Kumar Sharma and IRS officer Shraddha Joshi. I wanted to do the chakra energy assessments for both the characters but because only one character is developed in the movie I would just work on that and Shraddha Joshi's is like I felt that it would be injustice to do the chakra energy assessment um, because not enough information was available. So sorry, Trada, I'm just skipping you and only picking Manoj Kumar Sharma. All right, so let's pe begin. And before we start, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, like this video and share this with your friends so that they understand how chakra energies block our manifestations or unleash our manifestations. Let's begin. All right, uh, movie was nice and uh, we saw this character uh, Manoj Kumar Sharma. He's from Chambal, where Daku come and instead of becoming a Daku, he is someone who comes out and becomes an IPS officer. And his story was that his father is an upright clerk and his grandmother is also very patriotic because his grandfather was a Subeda. Now, this thing is ingrained in his childhood and they really really value that uh, honesty and patriotism as i saw in the movie uh, so initially he is like cheating in the exam because that's how everybody else was doing fir ek din uh, this dsp dushan singh comes and he stops all the cheating and then everybody fails and he really really get impressed with this uh, DSP and he says Mujhe aap ki tarah banna hai. so he says that cheating chorni hogi and that really goes in his uh, deep subconscious so he just really really sticks to it and as I will define the chakra energies uh, for uh, Manoj Kumar you would know that where it impacted and how it changed him it, it had a of course we all understood it as a common sense also but just look at it from the chakra energy assessment and then he comes to uh, Mukherjee Nagar in Delhi I'm from Delhi so I know where it is and he meets this um, Shraddha Joshi over there and uh, there is a friend Pritam Pandey who gets him there and all that and that struggle is shown and then he goes for Ata Chakki and so let's just start with it and uh, see uh, how I give him the scores uh, all right so let's get to the chakra energy assessment analysis for Manoj Kumar Sharma so first let's look at the root chakra so uh, if you look at it then he's energetic applying his energy everywhere but root chakra is connected with sense of security and finances uh, which is of course not totally balanced it's underactive not because he's born in poverty, but he's also shown as an insecure person because he worked in the Atta Chakki till the end for money. I mean, he was insecure. Otherwise, he could have, you know, uh, just taken help from someone and, uh, you know, just worked on uh, the preparation. But he was like really, really insecure. So that root chakra is underactive. Now let's look at the sacral chakra. He is a very passionate soul, you know, and he's passionately preparing for the IPS and he is shown to be, a, you know, sensual in the relationship also. When he meets this girl, Shraddha, he's like taking keen interest. He also goes uh, to her house and proposes her and, and he's really shown to be connected to his emotional side, you know, he like his grandmother he goes back and looks at her and when his father comes and uh, meet him you know he's also like you know really emotional so a uh, sacral chakra is really balanced now let's look at uh, solar plexus 
now solar plexus i found a bit over overactive because he's confident he moves with great personal power but then this confidence is actually overconfidence at times that he even ignores his limitation as a human being he thinks ke aata chakki ke saath saath he can do uh, preparation also uh, i like he was sounding confident nikal jayega ho jayega uh everybody told him that you know it's not possible that you work 15 hours a day and then still prepare for exams but he wasn't listening to anyone so this is this comes when you're like too confident about yourself so he was a bit overconfident there so i'm giving him a uh, overactive solar plexus or uh, like of course he fixes the problem but as the character that we have seen so this problem is there the so- uh, solar plexus is overactive now let's look at the heart chakra now he is a strong heart chakra person a uh, heart chakra and throat chakra we'll come to throat chakra but let me define his heart chakra is absolutely balanced he is compassionate for other people he has no grudges like he flunks his exams because of the dsp the shan singh but he didn't held it against him you know he he in fact goes ahead he, and he likes him uh and he never held any grudge for anyone like such a clean person and you know this is a rare rare quality that someone has this kind of balanced heart chakra i mean even i got to it after a long years of my manifestation practice that i finally come to a point that you know i have compassion compassion for everyone and he's shown to have this since beginning i mean that's that's amazing and it's very impressive and uh, uh, someone steals his money and and uh, he is working in a library where he is demeaned and and he's insulted but you know he doesn't hold any grudge for anyone even when shraddha puts him down he has no grudges even against harsh he's like just a very nice and clean person and at heart and that's why it, he it makes him a very um strong heart chakra person uh, that that's a great energy and from there you know the manifestation energy starts to flow because if your heart gets blocked then you all the energy is like blocked and you cannot manifest anything but his heart chakra is very very strong and powerful then uh, let's move to the throat chakra now uh, he's also a great throat chakra person because his throat chakra is very very balanced so you look at his character uh in the movie as it's shown it is a very very clear com- uh communication there is a confidence in expression and there is authenticity like he is just saying who he is like initially there was a slight confusion that uh, shraddha meets him and she sees a book in his hand of engineering and she confuses that he's an engineer that's the only plays that he stays silent but other than that he's shown to be very very authentic in him, in his communication and when he goes for his final interview he just says it openly you know that i i'm from there and i failed because i did not cheat and previously i passed because i was uh, cheating so it's like really really authentic communication and that authenticity is the strength of this person so uh manoj kumar sharma is uh having two dominant chakras here heart chakra which is very strong and throat chakra which is very strong so these are the two strong qualities that he has and the the two strong chakras he can pretty much manifest anything and as we saw in the movies you know circumstances were built so that you know uh, the blockages of other chakra or like root chakra was like underactive he's insecure and that only he has to work and only he has to earn and he would not take help from anyone and an overconfidence you know all that is overcome because he has heart chakra which is very strong and throat chakra which is very strong so because of these two strong chakras those blocks were removed and then he finally goes uh, and goes ahead and becomes ips now let's look at the uh, third eye uh, third eye although 
the movie hasn't shown any spiritual side of his but i think this is just a probably the movie creator thought it was not an information uh, which was supposed which was relevant or supposed to be shown but in the uh, presence of uh, his vision um, insight about things and clarity of thoughts i am assuming that he is connected to his spiritual side and so i'm giving it balance because all the other symptoms that come because of the spiritual connect uh, this vision to be the ips this vision to go ahead and stop cheating in his um community in his village in his place this vision you know with which drives him so um i would give him balance third eye and uh, let's look at the crown chakra again the movie doesn't have information that he is spiritual but let me tell you this all the signs are there because he's someone who's moving with the purpose that is sign number 1 which is a great sign of spiritual connectivity of anyone then internally he is very peaceful and calm so uh, throughout the movie we have seen the resilience of the character and i don't think it was just in the movie i think it must have been there because despite of going everything going through everything he must have stayed resilient and that's how the mind was working functional and he was able to crack the exams so um i think the crown chakra is also balanced despite the information which is missing missing in the movie is the spiritual aspect so i'm not sure that only the real person can tell me but the all the signs are there that uh, the spiritual connection is there and and plus you know there is no arrogance as such because what happens is um, sometimes people are very honest sometimes people move with the purpose but they become highly arrogant that, that's a sign of overactive uh, crown chakra but there is no such sign here uh, a little bit or arrogance which is coming uh, is seen like the this person says the interview, interviewer it just because a bit of oh, confident uh, he is and then he's authentic so i think he's just coming from there as a person uh, there is no arrogance i didn't see any arrogance in the character so now uh, when i give him a total score the total tally is 12 out of 14 which is a very very good score and uh, i would personally suggest everyone to go and watch this movie uh instead of watching any if you're watching planning to watch a bollywood commercial flick instead of that watch this all right then stay tuned i hope i help you understand chakra energies and you may leave your comments if you want me to may do any chakra energy assessment of any other character of a movie All right then stay tuned bye bye